Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have some insane supply for the Foot Captain's promo cards that dropped onto the game yesterday, and that is impacting the market, and we saw a lot of market movements because of that on yesterday's game. I want to talk about that today on Saturday, and of course, all the other Foot Captains related info with the Foot Hero Captains being released. Massive upgrades for these cards. This is definitely a most hyped spot of this promo is the Hero Captains and those upgrades. Milito with the League Change, some Weak Foot, some uh, Skill Move upgrades on these cards. Di Natale getting the 5 star skills, some position changes are rumored to be coming as well as we have more leaks about the upcoming more versions of Foot Captains that we'll see. Only 4 of them released yesterday which was a bit of a buzzkill. I think more of us were hoping to see more than just 4 of these Foot Hero Captains cards released on the game. But for the ones that are out, they look cracked. And I want to talk about those cards and how the rest of the market moved and how there might be a potential investment opportunity with SBC fodder as there usually is on the weekends as they get so cheap. I also want to take a look at some new pack codes. Yes, there were some new pack codes that were actually added yesterday, uh, like a day and a half ago. Um, and one of them includes an Icon Moments pack so we might be seeing a new version of an icon upgrade pack coming pretty soon that might be as soon as today or tomorrow so we have to take a look at maybe preparing for that and what that could look like on this game with that pack code that was added um you know like 30 hours ago or whatever it was or something like that so we're going to take a look at all of that today on this video so if you're excited for foot captains and you had a good day one make sure to thumbs up on the video and of course subscribe if you are new now let's dive right in and talk about the cards that are in packs right now and how these cards work and kind of what's up with them, right? I know some of you guys will question right away, where's the Marcelo, right? If we take a look at the actual web page that EA posted yesterday, we're a little bit underwhelmed by just a small part of this promo because we know there's more to come with some of the leaked cards that we have seen like Marcelo, like Busquets, right? Maybe a Jordan Henderson as well. All items that we expect to be a part of the Foot Captain's promo, but they look like they're going to be a part of Team 2. Or the mini release, there's still a potential that that Marcelo could be a mini release card. That was a bit of a letdown for yesterday. And again, like I said, only four of the uh, Foot Captain's Heroes cards released on the game yesterday. Di Natale, Milito, Yunberg, and Dempsey. Um, you know, that was a little bit of an L since we were expecting more of those cards. But the promo team as a whole, I think people are very happy with these items, right? These are some pretty nice upgrades for a lot of cards that haven't had many specials this year. I mean, the Royce card is sick. Uh, the Mings card, again, we talked about in yesterday's video as well, the pace split, right? EA did the business with this pace split. They gave him plus one sprint speed, just plus one, but they gave him plus 16 acceleration, which makes this card so much more usable than he's ever been. So this is a very hyped up card from yesterday. And again, like we said, a lot of this promo team is cheap, not the hero captain cards. They are not cheap. We'll talk about how that is playing out on the market in a little bit, but for the rest of this promo team, look at the prices of these players. Insigne, 190k. Muniain, 40. Dubois is 46,000 coins. Yuris is 190. Quagliarella, arguably the most popular card. He's been number one on the most popular page on Footbin with almost a thousand upvotes already to start off his first few hours in packs with that high medium work rate upgrade and just the insane stats that he has. People want to try out this card. So even though this promo team is pretty cheap and there's a lot of supply for it because of all those saved up packs yesterday that were open, I'm not counting this promo as an L. I think that the impacts content is just okay, but I think some of the SBC and the objective content could continue to be a W as we head throughout this week. I'm, I like the promo from EA. I think it's cool. I like the concept and everything seems to be captains related on this game. So let's continue to talk about the market. Again, as we mentioned in yesterday's video, we expected a lot of supply early on for these foot captains cards because of the saved up packs. Again, cards like Tyrone Mings, who is 380,000 coins right now on the market. Also, big shout outs to EA for putting in the quality search filter within like 30 minutes of these cards being released on the market today. That was a W. Uh, but Tyrone Mings is like 100,000 coins cheaper than this within the first hour of his cards being released. And then he jumped up in price. That was the movement for a lot of cards today. Now, some of them have come back down a little bit and if you bought a card in that first short time period yesterday i do think that you got one of the best prices you're going to see for these cards Ooh, 119 for quagliarella i will take that right there that's nice um I, I think you saw some of the lowest prices for these cards maybe on the weekend but i think with a good really good team too that is leaked to be coming 
I think there's a lot of potential for still some of these foot captains cards could, to get cheaper over the next couple of days, especially your more expensive ones. Even a guy like this Quagliarelli, yeah, I know he's hype, he's brand new, it's a nice card, it got a really, really good upgrade, but I really don't see this guy being too much over 100,000 coins. He's probably gonna be under 100,000 coins as we get towards the end of this week. So I still think that we're in a little bit of a bubble this weekend for some of these cards that are in the promo team, especially like Yuris, right? I wanna pack Yuris so bad for the first owner and tradable squad. I don't know how good this man is in game. He was like 120,000 coins yesterday during the first hour. Now he's up to 200,000 coins. But again, like I said, with all of the saved up packs, and all of that supply that came on the market yesterday, I don't think I would hold these cards for too terribly long. Again, you know you've seen some of them drop off already. Some of the guys like Yuris, Insigne, um, that are on that lower tier, but still going to be supplied a lot, or let's say middle tier, that are still going to be supplied a lot. You know, I think they're going to hold their prices okay, but I still expect them to drop later on throughout this week. Uh, there was just a lot of supply yesterday, right? Now, the pack percentage and the pack weight on these cards, if you go into the store and look, it's not abnormally high or anything like that. I don't even know if they're running lightning rounds at this hour when I'm recording this video. It looks like they're not. But from a 100,000 coin pack, 6.7% for only having um, a side of 11. There's only 11 players that are in packs right now, four foot captains. I think we will get a mini release tomorrow on Sunday, um, and that will make this percentage go up, of course, as there'll be more cards in packs. But, um, you know, I think that's kind of like normal around the ballpark of where a normal promo team is uh, for pack percentage. Now for the foot hero captains, these cards are incredibly rare, right? As we talked about, we wondered if EA would list the probabilities for these cards and they actually did. And I think the reason they have to list the probabilities for the foot hero captains is because they're only going to be in packs for a week. And that's a little bit of the fine print that I want to go and take a look at. Uh, but again, I just want to rest on the point and settle on the point that for these foot captains promo cards, not the heroes, but for the promo cards themselves, um, I think these guys started off really cheap. They're probably going to drop a little bit more as we head to the end of this weekend. And then depending on the content this next week, they might rise up and down a little bit, but I think they'll get lower again as we head into next week's content with Team 2 sounding like it's going to be a bit more hyped. There's going to be a lot of hype around that. So just be careful if you own any of these cards this weekend. Again, with the way the market is right now, I would not be holding on to too many cards for very long just because the market is so volatile with so many people that have been selling cards. The prices have dropped so much. I think that's going to continue even though we're still a couple weeks from the team of the season. I think that mindset is what's really going to continue. Um, and these cards will probably stay pretty low, especially with all the insane supply that they have had. So Foot Heroes Captains, though, is what I want to touch on next. And I think one of the reasons why these cards are so rare is, yes, they have low pack weight and heroes are hard to pack in general. But there's a bit of an issue with these cards right now, and it might result in some compensation. Now, before you go crazy and go thinking about this, we have to talk about it, right? So Foot Hero Captains are special upgraded cards of the Foot Heroes. We needed this for the longest time. They finally are upgrading heroes, right? We know that. They're going to be made available throughout the campaign for a limited time only. Now read what it says down here. Do Foot Hero Captains replace their base Foot Hero version in packs? EA says, yes. Foot Hero Captains will replace the base version uh, while only available in packs. So like right now, if you open a 100,000 coin pack from the store, you should be packing the Foot Captains version and you won't pack the regular hero version of Di Natale, uh, Junberg, um, and the two other captains, uh, Dempsey and Melito, right? You won't cap their, you won't pack their base versions. It says foot hero captains made available outside of packs. So for like a guaranteed SBC or something like that, uh, do not replace their base foot hero version in packs. Um, so, you know, that's kind of self-explanatory right there. But the thing that's interesting about this is the first line, right? He, foot hero captains will replace their base foot hero version only while available in packs. And it says on the screen that team one, is going to be all these cards are available for one week until next Friday they're going to be in packs. But popular streamer, a lot of you guys know 89 Skills, YouTuber and streamer, right? He was opening packs tonight and I've seen a lot of other people in my mentions with the same issue. They've been packing, as of a couple hours ago, they've been packing the base versions of these cards. So that would make sense as to why some of these Foot Hero Captains have become incredibly rare 
over the past couple of hours. I mean, they looked rare from the beginning, right? I actually flipped uh, a cup. I flipped a Melito today. I bought a Melito at 900,000 coins, sold them at 1.15. Um, and Melito, oh, is he back up again? Oh, let's freaking go, man. Melito is rising back up. He is 930, 940. I just bought a couple more of these like an hour ago um, for 879,000 coins. This is really risky, right? I'm doing some risky trading right now because with the way that looks and with the, the, tw the tweets that I'm seeing and with people saying, hey, I'm actually packing the base hero version instead of the hero captain's version that to me smells like compensation i think ea is going to have to do something about that um, i bought two yunbergs at 800k sold them at like 8, 8, 870 880 right there was some good flips with this card yesterday you know but these cards are incredibly rare so i think ea has messed something up uh, and they're going to have to compensate and what that really should do they should be compensating but what that's going to do is it's going to bring more supply on the market like this clint dempsey was 310,000 coins i bought three of him he's 370 right now but i was able to sell those on for about 390,000 coins yesterday 397 387 and 390 you see there so these cards are just incredibly incredibly rare they've made me a lot of coins already but i have to be careful with it right with that impending uh stuff that's going on out there i'd be very careful if you own a captain's card right now especially dempsey because i think dempsey's gonna have one of the highest pack weights out of all of these hero cards yunberg would be maybe the second highest but dempsey for sure i think his card i mean i know it's like the dead of night when i'm recording this video and a lot of you guys are actually asleep but we look at Dempsey, he has one page. I know these cards are rare, but that's crazy, right? That That is really, really crazy just to have one page. Like how many of these cards have 400K for Mr. Dempsey? He's got like a 360 right here and then two 370s and then a 390, right? These cards are just so rare. I think that's gonna be compensated by EA. Again, don't panic sell if you have these cards, if you're trying them out. Uh, but if you see an EA tweet, I, I imagine that they would fix this um, and then they would tweet about it and then do some compensation. I don't think it would be like like life-altering prices, like Dean and Tally getting cut in half in one day. But I see the potential for compensation with these cards. So just be a little careful if you're trying them out uh, because that could be coming. I don't think it's going to impact a Dean and Tally too much unless people start panic selling. But again, I, ha I can't just sit here and say, oh my goodness, these cards are just so rare and not point out the fact that multiple people I've seen now on Twitter have packed their base versions instead of the Hero Captain's version. So we have to, of course, think about that and know that there's potential compensation uh, arising around that. It's actually been a while since we had compensation. So it's kind of, I guess, GG's to EA for you know not messing up that big lately. Anyways, um, so that's kind of the foot captain's cards that are on the market. Again, I would be careful. I think you know I am trading with them. You saw me with some Quagliarellas. Again, you saw me with some Melitos, which hopefully this Melito, I'm really hoping that he can get back up to around a million coins. How many cards do we have to a mill? We have about a page. So if, if you know what, I'm gonna watch this 949. If this one can sell, then I'm looking pretty good because I bought mine in the 870s. Hopefully, I can get this guy out for maybe around like 980 um, overnight tonight into Saturday. Uh, today, that'd be a great flip. But I, I would just be careful trading with these captain's cards. I know that like Ben Yetter and Royce, these guys fluctuate a lot um, and people are going to want to wake up today on Saturday and try these cards out. So you might see some fluctuations. Royce went from mid 600s to well over 700 earlier yesterday. The Mings card, the Quagliarella, right? I have no problem looking at a Quagliarella today. I've been kind of trying to snipe him in, in the low 120s. I've got a couple of them uh, just kind of, you know, you know, trade with the cards that are hype, right? And this Quagliarella is one of those that that is very hype. I'm going to let that sit, actually, so that Footbin can catch it and then keep telling people to list that 120 when they look at Footbin. That's a little bit of a trader 101 there. Is sometimes when you see like a 2 or 3K undercut on a card like this, you can see it gets bought up a lot. But if you let it undercut hit, sometimes Footbin will catch it, and then people will just look at Footbin to list the card. Like right now, it shows Quagliarella at 122. Uh, and then hopefully they list at like 120, 122 when he's actually about 125. And uh, then you can get a couple undercuts even under that. Because sometimes people see footbin in 122 and then they'll undercut at like 118 or 113. Bang, like that. Bingo. See, worked perfectly. But that's the kind of stuff I'd be looking for a quick flip today on Saturday. Now for the rest of the market, I just spent a lot of time talking about 
stuff that was added to the market yesterday. For the out of pack stuff, there was more panic selling, but there was some bounce back as well. I bought a Firmino yesterday at 850, sold it at 930. He had a really nice bounce back. Not a ton of profit on that, but a solid amount. Dybala was a card that rebounded well yesterday. He went from like 900 and 30,000 coins. Right now he's 1.02. So some of your out of packs, rare meta special cards, they had some bounces, right? We expect that on our promo Friday. So if you traded with any of that uh, yesterday, GG's. And like I was saying all week, I knew there would be people that would go out and buy some cards and you would see some bounce backs on the market today. Some of your fantasy foot cards as well had the same sort of fluctuation. Sissoko was down at 320. He's now 350 uh, up in price. Martinelli was 475. He's now 510. Uh, some of the other fantasy cards, Rashford was 19. He's now 2.2. 2. Nani was 330, 340. He's now back up to 370. Uh, Stones is down, but that's because of the Mings. Again, substitute item coming onto the game. Kind of people sell their stones to go use the Mings card that was dropped yesterday. So I'll, some of the out of pack packs market had some nice rebounds yesterday. Not all of it, but some of it did uh, based on you know people having coins from opening all those packs that were saved up, put a lot of coins on the market, kind of like we explained yesterday. Now, one part of the market with all that supply that is looking ripe for picking right now is the fodder part of the market, the fodder part of the market. Because again, like I mentioned, we are due another icon upgrade pack. The prime icon player pick expires on Sunday tomorrow. But if you remember, was it two weeks ago or maybe even three weeks ago by now? I think it was two. We had our first icon upgrade SBC that included icon moments players. That was a 92 plus moments prime or moments pack. Uh, which everybody went bananas for, right? I'm not saying that pack is gonna come again. Again, the one that we have added to the code right now was added, uh, again, like I said, like 30 hours ago. We had a couple new packs added. Uh, I'll get to these in a second. Uh, but this one here, Icon Moments Pack. I think this is gonna be our next Icon Upgrade SBC pack. And I would assume that's gonna come next after the Prime Icon Upgrade, but it could come as soon as today because again, like I mentioned, the other Icon Moments Upgrade pack came out on a Saturday a couple of weeks ago. So if you're looking at fodder right now, um, you know you're gonna have more lightning rounds today, but you're also gonna have more people looking to invest in that fodder. And you had most of your supply, in my opinion, happened yesterday on Friday. So as these cards are kind of low, and maybe if EA is running some nighttime or early morning lightning rounds today on Saturday, which it does seem like they're going all out with the lightning rounds again, Picking up a few of these middle tier fodder cards. I'm not so sure about the 88s. 88s and up, I'm not sure about even 87s. But some of the 86s, again, you see like Parejo, 14,000 coins. You can probably snag this at 13K on bid. This is as low as the cards were last week before they spiked up really well um, into the weekend with the Prime Icon Player Pick SBC. If we have an Icon Moments pack, that would also impact the market. We're having daily Icon Moments players SBCs continue. That's a part of the Foot Captains promo. Um, I don't know if it even says it here on, I think it says it somewhere in here on the, on the website, but we're gonna have those daily Icon Moments players as well released through SBCs. Probably gonna have another one today. So, uh, you know, maybe the Fernandinho that we didn't end up seeing yesterday as well, that would be another um, Foot Captains player SBC that we would see at some point during this week. You know, it seems like this is going to be a week where there should be a decent amount of SBCs that would be, you know, decently hyped. You know, they, the, the campaign player pick, I think, expires today. Maybe EA is going to respond by releasing another one of those this weekend or in the next week. So maybe taking some bids or, you know, just getting on some low prices for this fodder. Wow. Uh, no way. This uh, <laughs> this Hector card is already one of the cheapest 87s, and he's in the current promo team. W. Um, anyways, I think the low to middle tier, the 84 to 87 rated, 84 to 86 rated fodder is good for a club stock. Again, like I said, I don't I don't know if you're gonna see the rise like you saw last week. Like 85s went from 7k to like nine, 10,000 coins at their absolute peak. 86s went from 12k to like 17, 18,000 coins. That was a really big peak for a short time frame. That was a lot of profit to be made. I think you will see some uh, movements like that, but it, maybe this week it's a little bit less. Maybe the 86s won't go to like 18k. Maybe they'll go to like 16,000 coins. But I think it's a good opportunity to club stock a few of those cards this weekend, um, especially with more Icon Moments SBCs coming out, more player SBCs for foot captains and stuff like that uh, kind of potentially coming out. And of course, that Icon Moments pack, if that arrives, that'll be probably a lot cheaper of an upgrade pack that more people would want to go out and do. That would be their first really you know, good value chance of packing 
an icon moments card from this game so that's kind of how the content went down yesterday in terms of the market side of things today more lightning rounds we would almost 100 percent guarantee to expect and actually as i'm about to enter the store uh in one minute they're going to potentially release a new set of lightning rounds so i want to check and see if they do that or not because they've been running the late night 85 86 plus star packs um, and it's been impacting prices on the market a little bit but that's why I was, you know, mentioning fodder because if you can time it right, especially, they will get a couple extra thousand coins, maybe less, and that could mean more profit um, a little bit later. So one thing I really like about this promo is a kind of a weird one. They haven't done SBCs like this in a while, but I got to point this out. Where, where is this one at? Daily login upgrade. Basically, what this is is it's a it re, it re, um, re ups. It's repeatable every single day, one time. It's a, a cheap 81 plus upgrade pack is what it is. So WEA Sports, that's nice. We we take that. Um, I actually opened that pack and won 85 times three on my account yesterday. You guys are going to say red listed. The, really, the only pack that I opened was that 85 times three. And I was able to snag a Quagley Relic. Maybe that's just a testament to how somehow easy these cards are to pack. As I think a lot of people packed items from the promo team yesterday again it was all those saved up packs right tradable or untradable a lot of people got these cards in their teams yesterday which is just overall gonna make their prices a little bit lower uh maybe that's having me thinking that i should have opened more packs but i'm kind of saving those more for team of the season here we go 84 plus star duo players pack um i think that was that's a newer pack we haven't seen this one very much but again 6.5 percent for foot captains Going to be a little bit more supply for those cards coming on the market late night and lightning rounds for fodder. Those are great packs that help supply fodder on the game. So it's probably going to be a good time to club stock that stuff once again. And I think that's going to continue into today on this market. Watch team of the week cards today as well. Those could get kind of low today too. So to wrap it up, I want to take a look at yesterday's content just a little bit more because we had a lot of stuff to go over and a lot of SBCs that I think are overlooked because of how the content was a lot of market-based stuff yesterday. This Joaquin yesterday, really nice upgrade. Four-star, four-star, really good-looking card. It's not going to be the most meta item, but he does link to Fakir in La Liga as a right mid item. So nice links there to Fakir. And it's not, you know, the best value SBC. I think it's coming in like 160 or 170,000 coins for this card. So it's not great. It's just okay, in my opinion. It's just solid. Yeah, Joaquin is coming in 170k. It's just okay. Now, the SBC yesterday that is a big W is this Joao Felix Player of the Month. Awesome dynamic image, five star skills. I know it's not as good as his numbers up card that has the insane pace boost, but for like 28k, this is uber cheap and a must do uh, for like, what is it, an 82 or an 83 rated squad is all that it costs to get this guy done. 83 rated with a team of the week. Get that done this week if they release player picks uh, for your untradeable um, La Liga team heading into, you know, where objectives are important towards the end of the year. So I think that's a big W right there for the Felix. Also yesterday, we had the Zanetti SBC, which was our first Icon Moments player SBC based off of a captain and he's got an 88% upvote which is surprises me a little bit because this SBC is valued at 364,000 coins according to Footbin. Yeah, this card is cool. It's I think it's just really cheap and that's why people like it. I know it's a nice card, high high work rates. It does have some pretty good stats and it's an icon moments. Uh the thing that of course I look at and see is okay, his card on the market is now the same price as this since um, he's dropped off with the leaks, with the panic selling, and now that his SBC is out. But I mean, to be honest, you're going to be able to get this done so easily. So it's just a nice card to collect, either using your team or to put it in the club when you have duplicates uh, arising. We also had a pack supply SBC for a rare Electrum yesterday. So all in all, really solid SBC content, except for the player that was released as the, a player SBC. The rest of it I thought was really, really solid. So GG's and big ups to EA for all that yesterday. Hopefully that uh, continues today. I'm not entirely sure who they're going to release as our Icon Moments player SBC. Again, we've had a lot of names that have been leaked and put out there, um, but hopefully EA drop a banger for one of those today on the game. Now, in objectives really quick as well. I know a lot of you guys like to grind these. Classic Cup is returning once again, two weeks. Uh, and, you know, you only have to play, I think, three wins, of course. There are three games a day that it is for Classic Cup, but you get all the packs. Uh, you get a Foot Hero Captain's Loan Untradeable as a part of this. Premium Gold Players Pack, Mega Pack. You know, a lot of solid packs in here, especially if you, as you get towards the higher tier echelon, you get some really nice packs, which will be very nice 
for a pack stash, either opening during this promo or saving for team of the season. Stindle, solid card, really no complaints here. I, I think it does take 10 separate matches in the live foot friendly, but if you want a card to collect this, nice item, solid from EA Sports there in my opinion as well. So overall yesterday, I think we rated it on stream. We were saying that the content was like, a six or a seven out of 10. The hero moments cards are dope. The hero captains cards. I'm going to call them hero moments all the time. That's actually not their name, of course, as you guys know. But wait, did that 940 sell? Nah, it's still up on the market. This Dempsey sold though for 360. These cards are so rare, guys. I'm telling you, it's crazy. Wow, Dempsey is 400K now. I should have bought that one, man. He's look at the, look how, how rare this guy is. It's crazy. I think they're going to have to do some compensation because these cards are so rare and they weren't getting packed when they were supposed to be. We'll see what EA posts. Um, on their Twitter about that. I'm sure they're going to have to assess this situation there. So I'm excited for day two of Foot Captains. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this promo, whether you packed anything yesterday. That's what I really want to know. Did you open any packs yesterday? And if so, what did you pack? Because it seems like everybody was packing these cards with the supply being in as insane as it was. Um, it seemed like they just kind of gave out uh, from these packs and that there were so many packs opened. Um, that's, that was the case. So I want to know down in the comments if that was you and how you enjoyed the first day of foot captains yesterday. But if you are new again, hit that subscribe button on the channel. Good luck with your weekend league. If you're grinding red name Mars for everybody, as we always try to drop a little extra pack look for you heading into your Saturday grind of weekend league. So it's been Nate, the vote accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.